So today I'm gonna to shoot a little comparison video, comparing portrait and comparing gold for portraits. And the idea of doing this is gonna be for me to figure out whether or not I wanna use gold as a bit of a replacement for portrait when I can. Obviously, right now, film prices are extremely high. Only psychos are buying film at the moment. So what I wanna figure out is whether or not this is something that I might wanna use at times instead of portrait or whether I, you know, I still want to stick with portrait even though it costs a little bit more. So the way I'm going to do it, I've got a model today uh, called Natalia. She is over from Puerto Rico and we are going to shoot some portraits, uh, head out in the street. We're hopefully going to get a bit of sun, do a couple of rolls of portrait, a couple of rolls of gold in similar locations, similar sorts of lighting, a little bit of sun, a little bit of overcast. I'm going to probably do a little comparison and show you guys the raw scans that I get back from the lab. The reason I think it's important to do that is obviously I edit my film. So I can edit my film, I can edit my portrait, I can edit my gold to look different and look how I want it to look. But what I hope the outcome of this video will be is that maybe I will have an option in gold in a film that I can take my scans and I can still create the look I want to create rather than always using portrait for portraits. So without further ado, let's head out, let's start shooting and let's see what we get. <laughs> Considering how busy it is on the high street, like no one ever comes down here. Yeah. I've walked, yeah. walked through a few times. Yeah, annoyingly the sun is uh, not actually that bright. It's kind of like it's misty. And also it's not here. It's... <laughs> I think, I don't know what time it was I walked past there before, but it was like, I don't know, maybe it was six o'clock-ish and it was like perfect. The sun was like, half cutting through the um, the blue line, the blue yeah. panel. Yeah. It just looked really nice and I was like, ah, oh, I need to come back here. Oh well. oh well. Okay, let's try. Yeah, just a couple here to start with. Right, if you're looking down the camera, let me tilt your head back slightly. Yeah, that's nice. Three, two, one. If you go right up against, or a bit closer to the wall. Okay, perfect. Hold that, three, two, one. Let's try a wider one. That's nice. Looking here, three, two, one. Uh, take your head towards this way. That's it. And then looking at me. Nice. Three, two, one. Hold that. Let me just do a closer one. Okay, three, two, one. That's nice. Maybe come, maybe just sitting in this gap between the... That's what I liked about this place as well. It's kind of like weirdly overgrown. One more. Tilt your head slightly. Um, yeah, just turn around. Yeah, perfect. That's nice. Okay, three, two, one. Perfect. First one done. So hard to see sometimes. Yeah. Like the focus oh. through here is quite tricky. But we got it. Okay, looking to me. Three, two, one. Sorry, it's a bit delayed. Perfect. Hold that. 
Three, two, one. It's really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's nice, just at an angle like that. Hold that. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. That's nice. Yep, hold that. Three, two, one. That three, two, one. Whoops. Maybe like if you could like crouch on the edge of this, and just like this, yeah. on the edge of the yeah. step, could be nice. Could do it like this. Yeah, yeah. Or just like that. Yeah, whatever, whatever makes sense. Okay, three, two, one. Perfect. All right, let's get that sun down there. Right, let me see what we've got. Three, two, one. Become, yeah, that's nice actually. That's cool. Hold that. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Lost a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Turn your head a little bit this way. That's it, perfect. That's nice, yeah, looking that way. That's, that's cool. Three, two, one. That's really nice. That's the same one again. Yeah, that's cool. Hold that. And looking over that way. Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, last one for this. Three, two, one. That's cool. All right. Last roll. That's cool. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's cool. Hold that. Three, two, one. You take, you just scoot to here so you get a bit of the sun. And tilt a little bit more. Uh, yeah, towards the sun. Yes, it. Yeah, and tilt back a little bit. Yeah, nice. Three, two, one. Looks nice. It's been so long since I've actually taken pictures with sun. Until yeah, this way. Yes, that's cool. And then just towards the sun a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. When I got these photos back from the lab and began editing them, I decided to not actually figure out which film was which. I wanted to do that because I wanted to see whether I actually would be able to figure out which one was portrait and which ones were, were gold. And I had maybe a tiny inkling, but to be honest, I couldn't figure out which was which. So that was kind of interesting. One thing to note, which I noticed once I got the, the files back, there were a few inconsistencies, but one of the inconsistencies was definitely my fault. It looks like the second roll, which was uh, the portrait roll, first portrait roll, I underexposed it a little bit. So that first portrait roll, 
uh, compared to the first gold roll where they're both in the same situation isn't the most accurate representation or comparison but i will say the second gold roll and the second portrait roll pretty accurately metered so what i thought i'd do is go into a few examples a few comparisons of a couple of images which were shot in kind of similar situations and kind of just talk about them a little bit so first up we have the first roll of gold and the first roll of portrait so as i said the first roll of portrait was underexposed slightly i've also left a little bit of that underexposed feel in the portrait edit but the main thing i was looking at here and the main point of this experiment is really to dig into the skin tones that these two films can offer looking at these two images there really isn't much in it you can see natalia's arms her face there's a lot of similarities i've picked these two images because they have a similar amount of highlight light on the face uh, the right side of her face on both images although she's facing slightly different directions you're getting the same amount of sort of sun or overcast sun being sort of picked up on her face i honestly out of these two <clears throat> i couldn't really pick a favorite obviously the gold is slightly more accurate probably because of the um just the underexposing but if you look at the skin tones they're very similar and they're very accurate to real life second images i wanted to compare with these two just because of the location kind of similar you know focal length against um the model and similar amounts of background colors and, and the same sorts of scenes this one is the interesting one for me this is an interesting comparison because actually if you look at the background the wall you'll notice there's a bit more green in the gold compared to the portrait which is actually something i quite like for me i like to keep green in my images i like to keep it in the shadows often i'll sort of play around with with that the green of the wall uh, or the slight green tint on the wall compared to i guess a slightly more magenta or warmer um tint that you're seeing in the background of the portrait for me is actually a quite a nice separation so the background on the gold obviously there's there's a different focal length and there's a different depth of field but the separation in color on the gold for me is actually really nice in this comparison i actually prefer the gold which i honestly wasn't expecting to say <laughs> i thought the result of this experiment would be in every case i'm going to prefer portrait one thing to note about these edits and especially this scene was the edits that i that i put on each image are almost identical so i didn't tweak the colors between these two rolls i don't think i touched them at all so these these second two rolls were a very sort of accurate representation of the color in the edit as well as the the scans that I got through so this comparison i wanted to throw in here is a good example of the scan that i got back and then how i'm editing it i really like how the skin tone is is rendering um you, you'll probably notice a slight bit of more warmth going into and vibrance going into the edit compared to the scan which is a bit flatter there's a bit more green in the scan and there's a little bit more magenta in the, the edit but that is kind of how i just edit anyway i thought i'd throw this one in as well uh this was the portrait roll that was underexposed you can see that on the left the shadows are all kind of washed out but the way i like to edit that's not actually a huge deal this this edit on the right i've brought back the the shadows the blacks um, i've left a tiny bit of that faded feel in the shadows but to be honest this is one of my favorite photos from from the whole the whole day part of that is obviously the model and the positioning and the sort of pose i think it's quite interesting and unique and the other part of it that i, that I like was the the rendering and the uh, how i was able to get this edit working even though it's underexposed and then i've got another portrait here from the last roll which uh, again is a good comparison of how i've kind of tweaked the skin tone and the shadows to kind of get them working matching it up color wise getting the vibrance right just bringing it back to life a little bit more which is what i like to do in in the edit so overall i was really impressed with how gold held up the only real differences that i was able to notice were as i said in this example maybe getting a little bit more green in the background um, i'm not really sure that that's even a, a film thing or whether that is like i said a focal length thing or there's there's something else at play there 
but this was one of the most accurate sort of comparison shots that I had and that was something that I noticed which was really interesting to me because as I said I really like that so what's the verdict in my opinion um, for me the way I edit and the results I want to get I think I'm gonna to have to reconsider portrait as my sort of go-to film for the moment the main factor being that price difference and the you know how expensive everything is at the moment really I'm not seeing enough of a difference in these scans and in these edits to warrant me paying for that portrait or using the portrait so as always guys thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please consider giving the video a like give us a subscribe put those bell notifications on put those bell notifications on we love them if you want to support the channel more there's a link to our patreon in the description of this video so you can jump over there and take a look in the next video that's coming, we're going to be giving away some Polaroids or some Instax, I should say, which I shot on location with Maddie. So if you are interested in getting your hands on some of those Instax, then head over there, consider joining the Patreon, and we're going to be sending those out to a certain number of people, depending on how many um, that I have. So thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.